What's in your drinking water? A Duke researcher says she's found evidence of cancer-causing chemicals in a local river that provides water to over a million people. CBS 17's holding her wiki, digging deeper into the problem and how you can protect your family. For the people of Pittsburgh, water quality issues are nothing new, according to Mayor Jim Nass. We know these compounds are in there, and the scientific evidence tells us uh, that uh, they can be harmful. Those compounds are known as PFAS, and according to Duke researcher Heather Stapleton, they've been linked to forms of cancer. The contaminants flowing from Haw River end up in Lake Jordan, and some of them end up in the drinking water of Carrion Apex. Stapleton says samples taken around Pittsburgh measured PFAS levels between two and five times higher than the national average. I actually installed a reverse osmosis system in my house because I was concerned about them. Similar results were found downstream where the Haw River empties into the Cape Fear, which has battled similar issues with Gen X. Any community pulling drinking water between Pittsburgh and Wilmington will have similar exposure. And if you think of the number of people that includes, it's up to a million people or 10% of our population. In an effort to fight these chemicals locally, Pittsburgh has already upgraded its water treatment plant. We put in a uh, activated carbon system into our plant. And that was successful in removing some, but not all of the compounds. As they explore another overhaul to the town water supply, there may be an easier way to stay safe. Any filter will help, even if it's a pitcher filter that costs, you know, 20 to $30. It provides some um, protection from these chemicals. However, Stapleton says more research is needed before they can cut off the contamination at the source. In Pittsburgh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.